Yeah, they certainly did, Mark and Michelle. His apartment right behind us, the lights are on, but we haven't seen any activity as dozens of people were screaming for his arrest outside of his apartment. Meanwhile, the LA County Sheriff's Department says they are now doing a secondary review of the 2017 death investigation of Jamel Moore. Black lives we matter here. A grief stricken community erupting outside of a prominent Democratic donor's West Hollywood apartment. Don't, don't go in there. You don't die. For the second time in less than two years, authorities say a young black man was found dead inside Ed Buck's home. In 2017, 26 year old Jamel Moore was found dead, and LA County deputies ruled it an overdose. Then Monday morning, authorities say another man was found unresponsive. I've gotten reports today that the person who died today was uh, in his 50s. I don't care if he was in his 20s, 30s, 40s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s or older. He was a black man and he died of an overdose in Ed Buck's house. The political donor has never been arrested or charged for either death, though both cases are now under investigation. Buck's attorney says he was just trying to help drug addicts down on their luck. This is not a situation where Mr. Buck has caused the death. This is a situation where Mr. Buck has had longtime friends who unfortunately do not handle their life well. Protest organizer Jasmine Canick paints a different picture. She claims he targets vulnerable young black men and lures them to his apartment with the promise of drugs, sex, and money. Activists turning their anger toward Buck's neighbors, saying they're complicit in the deaths. We're going to be out here every night. Every night. You should not want him living here. I think it's great. I think that they should be out here, and I think that they should be fighting for the rights of, of the both boys that died, of both men that have died. I understand, like, wondering, like, you're his neighbor. Like, wh where was your role? And the reality is that the, we're neighbors. We're not going to call the police on any black man who walks into our building. That's quite racist on its own, and that would never occur to me. My question is, what role does the police department play in this? Mark and Michelle, those same people who were out here tonight say they're going to be protesting in front of the district attorney's office this Wednesday at 4 o'clock, again demanding Ed Buck's arrest. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.